Hey everyone, I'm joined by one of Freddie Lingren's mechanics, John O'Burks. Now from experience, I know that a mechanic is more to a mechanic than just turning spanners and working the bikes up. Johnny, you've been with Freddie for a few uh, years now. Four or five years. Yeah, so what's the process, just a little bit of the process, when Freddie comes in a race, who's he kind of, who's his go-to person and what's that process all about? He do, yeah, I think all of us, uh, but I tend to step away from the bike a little bit and the guys tend to deal with the bikes, with the tools more, and I spend a little bit of time with Fred. It seems like we've got a good connection and we tend to have like a similar opinion on stuff, you know, so that's really nice. So. Probably myself, maybe, but also, you know, Dave and Emil as well are as much involved as what I am on the setups. I know it's a, set, uh, a big team, and it, obviously, setups we hear the say how important it is. Is Freddie kind of very, is it always down to Freddie and he makes all the calls, or does he like to bounce things off you guys? No, definitely bounce things off, as I think, you know. But, you know, end of the day, he's an experienced rider. He's been doing it for a lot of years. He's probably one of the most experienced like, riders in this pits, you know. So he's been doing it a lot of years. So if he does have something in his mind and he feels it's right, we always, you know, try and push him to make that decision because that's yeah. very important as well that he's confident in what he's doing. And what about those times where perhaps. Freddie's not having such a great night. I know from experience with me back in the past, one of my old mechanics said, Mate, I can tell you're going to have a good meeting the minute you walk mm. in the pits or yeah, not. Can absolutely. you see that in Freddie? Yeah, definitely. You know, as, and as the season goes on, you tend to know where he is and what, you know, what place he's in. Uh, so definitely, yeah, for sure, you know if it's going to be, if we're on for a good one or not. You know, I feel that, definitely. And it's a real tough one, but if Freddie comes in and is moaning about the bike, but you guys are like, maybe the bike's okay, but you're not quite riding right. Yeah. How do you kind of tackle that? Just direct with him. <laughs> yeah, tell him. <laughs> it's got to be like that. And, but no, Fred's very good with that. You know, he, yeah. do, he, he knows if it's him or the bike, but we are also very honest and very direct with him if we feel it's a little bit to do with the riding. And he doesn't take, he just goes, no, right, yeah, yeah cool. No, I agree, guys. And then we crack on as a team and move forward. So there's, you know, it's no sense to change the bike if it's not the bike's problem, because all yeah. we do is lose a race by doing that. So we're better to be honest to each other and make sure that we continue with the setup that we've got and maybe slightly change track position or his riding on the track. And I know you all work together. You have to, it's, a, it's like a family Absolutely, yeah. and there's that connection there, but GPs, we, we, we hear what the riders about the pressures, but mm. you guys are under immense pressure. Now, I know as a rider in a league meeting, how frustrated and confused I can get trying to make the mm. self choices. For you boys as well, there's a lot of pressure on you because you're Absolutely. going to advise him a certain way. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that pressure when it comes into GPs? Yeah, definitely, 100%, you know, and if we make a decision that's maybe more based around me, Dave and Emil, uh, rather than something that Freddie's decided to do, you know, then obviously the pressure, you know, is even more onto you. So as they're going out to the track, you can really feel that little bit of, you know, intensity or whatever you want to say, you know. And lastly, when you see the other boys in the pits, I keep saying about this connection and almost like a relationship. Mm. That's something you boys have got solid. I mean, I'm sure when you walk up and down the pitch, you can see some of the boys, they've not got that connection and you can really see that plays dividends when it comes to the track. Yeah, I think so. And, and, and for the whole season as well, you know, for how, you know, there's a lot of traveling involved, you know, there's a lot of logistics involved. So we have to trust and, and believe in each other to make it work for the full season. That's massively important as, as well for the GPs and league racing, for well, sure. Thanks for talking, mate. Hope you boys get the south no right worries. and go well. Cheers, mate.